uh, we have created an online quiz administration project. We are a, a team of four members, Abhishu, Anshu, Sami and Yogesh. So I am going to give a brief introduction what our project is all about. Uh, our project is online quiz administration for administering quiz which student can take uh, online like uh, a metric or something else. So once a student logs in, he can solve the different quizzes and can administer those quizzes. And uh, we have you hosted our application on OpenShift Online. It's basically a cloud system where uh, we can deploy our application and we use uh, it for uh, version control. And uh, we developed our application in Spring MVC. We use the Spring Security Spring Data also. Uh, okay, now uh, I will. I mean, we will go through about the various features of the project. Hi guys, uh, I am Sam, and I will be speaking about uh, login and security features in our system. If you see that uh, we are trying to access the root, we are being uh, redirected to the login page so that um, we can uh, use our system. If we used a uh, wrong username and password, for example, we will, got, we will get an uh, error, error message. Let's create uh, some user first. Let's create another user to test the validation. Here, if you can see, we have some set of validation rules to validate the students. You can see that this is not a valid email. And now we can use our system. And I want to show some snippet code. Whenever we are, uh, whenever we are di redirected to the login page, we are checking here if the customer is uh, allowed to uh, use the system. If he is not allowed, we are creating an error message and then add this to the model and then uh, redirect back to the login page itself to show that error. So once you log in into the application, you can see the dashboard kind of thing. And here you can see the various quizzes available to that particular student. And here we have used the bootstrap style sheet and the bootstrap tab pins here. Uh, so uh, I, if you click on any link here, then quiz will be presented to you. And once you have given that quiz, that link will be disabled so that you won't be able to give that quiz anymore. And the 
that's it. So now uh, Adisu will explain the quiz part for that. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to be explaining about the uh, quiz administration process. Uh, once a student clicks on a an, on an available quiz link, they will be uh, directed to they'll be presented with the quiz and in this quiz uh, the question number will be shown uh, the amount of uh, the marks that's awarded for answering the question correctly will be shown and the question text and choices now uh, uh, we'll just uh, carry on and take the quiz now uh, the user at any time has the option of going to the previous uh, question and his answers will be preserved so okay this is going to be bad <laughs> I'm answering the question so it's wrong okay and this is the last question so uh, once we reach the last question and we, we click next uh, what will happen is um, this data will be sent to the server and the quiz will be graded and will be prompted with a quiz over page I think guys know how much, uh, how well we did. So the quiz is over, and we have scored one out of ten. Now we just uh, go ahead and exit the quiz, and as you can see in the quiz page, uh, the quiz that we just took is now deactivated. And this is the process of taking the quiz. Uh, hi, uh, as you see now, Adisu gave a quiz, I hope that he did very well. <laughs> now if you want to see how a student did in his quiz, we can go to the history page. And uh, we can see the student has given these many quizzes. On the history page, we have a quiz name and this a description about the quiz. And uh, we, if you want to review the quiz, I mean, uh, see the solution, correct solution, then uh, we can go to the review also. And it shows the question text and the correct answer. So I clicked on the quiz one, it's showing the answer to quiz one. So now I can go back to history page also. So if I click on some other, it shows for the question quiz to the answer, correct answer. So here a student has opportunity to increase his knowledge by seeing the correct answer. Uh, here I would like to show some code also. Here we have used, I mean, this history and uh, the same controller and this controller for the quiz ID is showing the sh show solution. And we were able, I mean, implementing add quiz feature also that uh, student, I mean, professor can add uh, more quizzes for the student. So it's still in progress. I hope uh, in the coming day you can see that well also. I think uh, that was uh, all about our project and. Uh, Thanks for listening the video and seeing the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. See you.